Hi everybody, this is your weekly top five articles on opensource.com and I'm Jen with opensource.com. At number five this week, we have nine tasty recipes to share, modify, and remix. In honor of Thanksgiving here in the U.S., we ran a series about open source for food and beverages that wrapped up this week. As part of the series, we published our 2015 Open Recipe Collection. It ranges from morning foods and beverages for an energy boost, to meals for comfort, to after work concoctions for relaxing. Our recipes for this collection are for sharing, modifying, and remixing just like open source, and we hope you enjoy it. At number four, Mozilla Contributor Creates Diabetes Project for the Masses. Ben Carenza of Mozilla shares how he got started in open source, which leads to the story of Glucosio, an open source project he created to bring diabetes management and research software to the masses. At number three, will Cora solve Bitcoin's biggest problems? In this interview, staffer Brian Berenhausen interviews a core developer behind the open source cryptocurrency Cora. He explains how blockchain technology will revolutionize everything from contracts to social networking. At number two, visualize astrophysics data with Blender. Jill Nyman, creator of AstroBlend, shares with the Blender for Dummies author Jason Van Gumpster how she uses Blender to visualize astrophysical simulations and data. She gave a talk on the topic at the Blender conference this year. And finally, at number one, Drupal-based PharmOS manages food, farmers, and community. Mike Stenta is the lead developer of PharmOS, a Drupal management system for farmers to track everything from inventory to water schedules. And Mike tells Don Watkins in this interview why he chose Drupal and how he plans to help farmers in today's tech-driven world. Also, we published our holiday gift guide for open source enthusiasts and your friends and family last week. It has 14 great gifts on it. You should check it out. There's a link to it in the article here on opensource.com, as well as on YouTube in the description. Thanks for joining me this week. I hope that you have a ha happy Thanksgiving if you're in the U.S. and a great rest of your week elsewhere. Thanks. See ya.